Hey everyone, welcome back to Footy Leagues Around the World. It is your host, Ryan. In today's episode, we are back in Africa. This time, we are talking about Burundi. Footy Leagues Around the World. Footy Leagues, heck yeah. Burundi is a landlocked country located in the Great Rift Valley at the junction between the African Great Lakes region and East Africa. It is bordered by Rwanda to the north, Tanzania to the east and southeast, and the Democratic Republic of Congo to the west. It has two capital cities, Gitega and Bujumbura, the latter also being its largest city, and the country has a population of about 12 million people. There are at least three tiers to the Burundian footballing pyramid. At the top is League A, also known as the Primus League for sponsorship reasons. The league is made up of 16 teams who play 30 games before a winner is crowned. The winner qualifies for a spot in the CAF Champions League while the bottom three teams are relegated. This year, League A started in August and will end in May. Second on the pyramid is League B. As of 2023, the league is made up of 16 teams who are split into two groups of eight. These two groups are known as Pole A and Pole B. Each team plays 14 games before the top team in each group gains automatic promotion. The two teams that finish in second in each group play each other in a two-leg promotional playoff before a winner is crowned and gains promotion. The bottom team in each group is relegated. Now the third tier of the Burundian footballing pyramid and beyond gets a little tricky just because there's not really a lot of information available online. What I do know is that the third tier league is called the Troisième Division. You may remember that name from the Burkina Faso episode. Both of those countries happen to speak French. Similarities abound. In the third division, there appears to be two different provincial football associations or leagues. One is called the Association Provincial de Football Bujumbura, and the other is called the same thing with a two behind it. Does this mean that all clubs are located within Bujumbura? I have no idea, but seems likely. Anyway, the first Bujumbura League is made up of 21 teams divided into four groups who play a single round-robin tournament before the top team qualifies for a spot in the League B qualification tournament. The winner of the second Bujumbura League also qualifies for this tournament. Now this tournament, also known as the Tournoi de Qualification pour la Ligue B, is a bit of a mystery in itself. In the last edition of the tournament that I could find information for, that was in 2020-2021, there was a preliminary round between just two teams, a first round that featured nine games, single elimination style. There was also an Elite Eight round, a two-legged quarterfinal, a two-legged semifinal, and after that, the last two teams were promoted to League B. Now the question becomes, where do these other teams come from? They weren't part of the Troisième division, at least from what I can tell. They also don't seem to feature any recently relegated teams from League B. Their story is a complete mystery. If you have any information on how this tournament works in the third division of Burundian football, please leave a comment. I would love to know. I've also come across some web pages that suggest that there is a fourth and fifth tier of the Burundian football pyramid, but I truly have no idea if that's true as I can find zero information to confirm these claims. Again, if you know, let me know. The first league of Burundi is not in the top 30 of the CAF coefficient, so it is clearly very small. But according to Football Manager, there may be two to three teams in the first division that are actually fully professional. Everyone else seems to be semi-pro, and after this, teams fall off pretty quickly to the amateur level, if you believe what Football Manager says. League A has been dominated historically by Vitalo FC, who have won 20 top flight titles, their last being in 2015-16. The next highest team is Inter, with 9 titles. They are no longer in the top flight and may not even still exist. They are not to be confused with Inter Star, who are in the first division. The last league title was won by Flambeau du Son, their first league title. Besides its football leagues, Burundi also has a domestic cup competition called the Coupe du Président de la République, aka the President's Cup. In its last full iteration, 78 teams participated, and its structure is your basic knockout competition. This competition has been won most by Vitalo FC, who have nine titles. As recently as 2020, the country also had a Super Cup, a single match played at the beginning of every season between the past winner of the league and the winner of the President's Cup. However, this competition has not been held since 2020, and I'm not sure if it still exists anymore. There was also something called the United Cup at one point, but I can't find any information about it now or if it even still exists, so we will just move on. 
Besides its men's competitions, there is also a women's football league in Burundi called League A. The league apparently started in 2005, but records only show a winner as of 2011. Besides an interruption last year, the league has been going strong ever since. Its most successful side has been Fofila PF, who have won five titles. This year's Women's League A consists of 10 teams. According to the official Football Federation of Burundi website, the FFB was formed in 1948 while the country was a European colony under the rule of both Germany and Belgium. Back then it was combined with Rwanda and the colony was known as Rwanda Urundi. Burundi eventually gained its independence from Belgium in 1962 and the FFB became affiliated with FIFA and the Confederation of African Football in 1972. The top flight league today, known as League A, was formed that same year, while the country's national team was formed in 1971. Now there are records of club football champions being crowned as early as 1963, but I'm not sure what the country's top flight league was called back then, as there is very little information online. What I can tell you is that early club football in the country was dominated by teams from Bujumbura. The most successful club in the 1960s was Menyema Fantastique, who won four championships in a row. Civil War broke out in Burundi in 1972, and club football was paused until 1974. Besides this, in an unfinished league season in 2003, I can't be sure why this occurred, club football has been going strong ever since, including the COVID years when the rest of the world was in lockdown. Lucky old Burundi was just going about its business like nothing had happened. While Burundi is a relative minnow in the footballing world, I have to give another mention to the country's most successful club, Vitalo FC. The club did the unthinkable in 1992 and reached the finals of the African Cup Winners' Cup, which was eventually merged and turned into the CAF Confederations Cup, Africa's equivalent of the Europa League. They would end up losing to Ivorian side Africa Sports, but still a very impressive feat. According to the FFB website, teams in the top flight of Burundi can only register 25 players per season. Five of those players can be from their academy if they have one. There is also no language limiting the amount of foreign players that a team can register. With that said, don't expect to see too many non-Burundian players playing football in Burundi. Up-to-date and complete rosters are next to impossible to find online, but from the information that I've gathered, there have been players from the DR Congo, Rwanda, Burkina Faso, and Malawi playing in the country's top flight recently, if not still today. Also, a quick correction to the Where Aren't Brazilians playing video. Burundi definitely should have been on that list. I'm not sure why they weren't, but my apologies. Speaking of players playing abroad, Burundian players can be found in a number of countries besides Burundi. According to Soccer Way, these countries include England, Spain, Portugal, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Denmark, Sweden, the Czech Republic, Cyprus, Turkey, Canada, the United States, Iran, Oman, Bangladesh, Malaysia, Djibouti, Kenya, Morocco, Rwanda, South Africa, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. A majority of Burundi's national team also plays abroad in many of the countries that I just mentioned. The top appearance getter in the country is still active. He is Kareem Nizigiyamana, which according to Google translates to Kareem is a god. Uh, wow. He has 63 appearances for the Burundian national team and currently plays his club football for Gazogi United in neighboring Rwanda. The country's top goal scorer, also still active, is Fistan Abdul Razak. He has 19 goals and 49 appearances and plays his club football in Oman with Sewer SC. Burundi has never qualified for a World Cup or an African Cup of Nations. For those who can't go to games, you appear to be out of luck. I can't find any sources claiming that Burundi's League A is locally televised within the country. For those of us living abroad, however, I have some surprising and exciting news. It appears that many top flight games in Burundi are streamed live on 11sports.com. This isn't a website that I'm super familiar with, but they appear to have an insane amount of streamable soccer matches across the entire world. This site might be worth a video in the future. On YouTube, there are a number of random highlights of the league, but nothing super consistent. If you know where else to find highlights or live streams of the Burundian Primus League, you know what to do. Leave a comment or a link below. Well, that's it for Burundi. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. And just like that, we are done with the B countries. It only took us about six years to get this far. If you've been rocking with the channel since the beginning, 
Thank you so much. You are a really great person. Coming up next, we are going back to Asia. It is Cambodia. <laughs>